honestly I've realized I go either between I, I, I switch between ludicrously tall and really short. Uh, just let you guys know, guys. I started recording. Okay, let me tell you, I just rolled my dice that my grandma blew on. I've got a four on my 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 D eight. I got a six on my D six and a nineteen on my twenty. Mm. Y'all are fucked. I, I'm halfway tempted to ask my father if he would be like to be the one who who does the whole sexy lady blows on dice thing. That's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can have my nephew and my niece do that. Oh. Sugar Sugar's doing pretty good for me so far. I would offer to have my dog blow on them, but she would just eat them. Yeah. All right. Also, also I love that you used a completely different image that I put. Wait, is that the image I posted? What? Oh, you no, just... it's one that I had grabbed before you posted that one, and then I just didn't change it. <laughs> uh, uh, whatever. I want to make it so that it's a better image. Okay. I just figured that was like an appropriate image because she's smiling like a loony, like a goof. Actually, would be the proper term. <laughs> Something we can... Oh! Yes, there's faint music playing because we should be starting the campaign, but it seems what we're still having some audio eight? issues. Is it the diamond? It's the pyramid on top of another pyramid. Oh. I had one of those. And the 12 is the hexagon? Uh, it's... Yes? I found it. It's got yeah. a 12 on it, so we'll go with that one. <laughs> oh, I need also the 20. Also, today should be a little bit less uh, hectic. Uh, if we if we end up staying up at seven, I'll be fine. But like, cause tomorrow I'm actually going to be waking up at like seven since that's significantly more reasonable than four in the morning. I gotta get up at like six in the morning to go catch my flight. So yeah, I can... oh fun. Mm. All right, Trainwreck, are you able to talk at all? Because I'm not hearing you. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait. You're awful quiet. Louder. <laughs> no. Nice pretty music. There we go. Rise me of Zelda. And I'm still like thinking to myself, what would my character sound like? And the only closest thing I could possibly think of is like, uh. Like, I don't even hear music, so. God damn, it's the adventure zone, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I hear it. I know this. I don't hear anything. Uh, yeah. It seems to be kind of glitchy. Like, the music's not working as good as it did last time we did a campaign. Yeah, it's but regardless. Quiet. Our uh, our faint intro music has played, and we are about to start our campaign. Is everyone on the map? Yep. Yep. Can everyone do a test wiggle for me? Uh, test wiggle. He just suddenly dances. Dan suddenly, Candy just dances yeah. around like a goofball he is. Okay. Also, I'm changing my name. In <laughs> here. Alrighty. Well, let me pull be... up the yeah. intro here. Um, you guys have. You find yourself in the town of Oakhurst, um, and there's sort of a little bit of an intro for each of you here. Uh, we'll start with you, Candy. I'm not gonna get used to that name ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you like to call him Kenendi? His actual Kenendi. <laughs> yeah, his actual name is Kenendi. How yeah. about Kanders? <laughs> All I right, guess I Candy. Remember it as a nickname. <laughs> Candy, like you that. have heard that there was a witch of notable pizzazz that has recently passed through the town of Oakhurst, boasting several creatures on display, one of which being a unicorn. Uh, you traveled to this town after hearing this in hopes of seeking her out to take ch change over your current situation. Here I am! Unfortunately, <laughs> you missed her passing, and you've decided to stay in town for a few days to recover from the travel. Uh, seeking shelter for the night, you decide to play a performance at the local tavern by the name of the Yawning Portal. On your way to the tavern, you notice another group of peculiar-looking characters not far in the distance. Stilben, uh, you and your ragtag team of misfits, oh. Sabuji and Turgundi, have taken the long journey into, town f uh, into the town of Oakhurst, where you decide to rest amongst amidst your travels. You've had a time to grow and bond with one another, and though some of your party has parted ways with you, you settle into the new town, taking it for taking what it has to offer. Uh, as your separate teams begin to wander towards the central location, you hear a couple of rumors, or as as you're wandering around the ta town, you hear a couple of rumors floating around. Uh, but the one that seems to come up as the most common one is that you're hearing a lot about missing or ruined or stolen crops, um, and a lot about some vandalized farm equipment. 
But above all else, you've also been hearing about certain livestock that has wandered away from the flock at night and gone missing, only to be found the next day bearing dozens of needle-like wounds. As you head towards the center location of the yawning portal, suddenly you hear a loud commotion, and people begin to rush out of the tavern before you in great numbers. You can see them charge off into the center of town, where a large cage is being wheeled in, carried by two horses. Villagers are wielding torches and shouting out at the creature within, and one of them claims... Oh, at the creature within, the one that they claim to be responsible of wreaking havoc on all of their livestock. So I will unveil that. Right, two things, I'm pretty... <laughs> one thing that I definitely... Do... Ooh, Jesus Ooh. Christ. Oh, oh queen. They are they zombies, looked, don't worry. They look mildly satanic, but I'm pretty sure I have the distinct feeling that, like, the person who I'm the fighting. Lady. I know it's the queen. She's, she's my faced villager that I will be talking with because I couldn't pinpoint one of them. Also, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure the whole thing is like, oh, yes, you're trying to find this person who has a unicorn. I'm just like, I somehow have the distinct feeling that the per the unicorn is a horse with a narwhal's horn glued to its forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a narwhal horn. It's like a piece of like I don't know, broken shell. It's just or cardboard. it's a stag horn. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be like a a musical horn. Okay, so <laughs> judging by the looks of it, I would like to have you announce what you do. Um, several of you go rushing towards into the crowd. Well, I'm yeah. gonna stand that far away because I'm pretty sure that's the distance that I can at least see things up there, and also because my character is five feet tall. Yeah. Alright, so let's go in order as to how we started it. Candy, what do you do when you see this? You you move in a little bit closer. Yeah, I, I, I go closer to see what exactly is going on. Okay, are you are you looking for something specific? Are you listening in? Like, I mean, I guess I'm just trying to listen to the lady who's obviously on- who's there yelling, probably, okay. or something. Um, you're, you're close enough to hear. Uh, there's a lot of murmurs and a lot of angry mob mentality going on here. There's a woman standing on the side of the cart, uh, not close enough for the creature to really reach, but enough so that she's clearly the one who is, like, guiding it. Uh, and she's calling out to the crowd, saying things along the lines of, We've caught him! We've caught him! Uh, the end of our troubles are na now! And th things along that line. <laughs> um, Subuji, Sylvan, and Turgundi. You see Wait. this happening, what do you choose to do? Well, Grandma is instantly running over, and okay. she's, as you can see, she is trying to get through to all these tall people, and some are thrown off by the funk, she admits. <laughs> he, she got you, the funk. You are the fuck boy at the Comic-Con. Yes. Yes, people, people actually visually start to disperse around you like they are not into yeah. that. Yeah. They're not, like, in that stench. That yeah, so reading. she's going to get closer, and she's going to say, Are we cooking it? Is this town feast? And she takes out her glutton sport, because she's... she's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you shout that out, and you can actually hear a couple other people chime in in favor of you. Uh, <laughs> scream out, Yeah, burn it! Burn it! Let's have it! Cook it up for all the livestock it's taken! Yeah! <laughs> Uh, so I got distracted because the one horse is wearing a shirt or something. <laughs> yeah, it's got a white spot on it, and for some reason, even though they're like the same exact icon that's been recolored, one of them is like vastly fatter than the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of them is a really fat horse. They, sh I don't they, know. they shaved the other horse. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sylvan. Sylvan. Uh, since uh, Grandma here has made a path with her funk. I go into the front, Welcome. and I examine the beast, because, I don't know, I feel like we kind of look the same. I feel, you know, it's like, oh, she reminds me of my dead village. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... And I, you know, I just kind of, like, stand in front of it, and, like, I get probably too close. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Go ahead and roll for that one. Um, let me check sheets real quick and see if it's insight or perception. Um, perception. No, passive wisdom. My Pretty perception is plus one. Do I roll my 20? Yep, you're gonna roll your 20 and then just add one to it. I think Burgundy has the most perception. Maybe he has I, uh, I got an 11. I, I okay. rolled a 10, I got an 11. 
Um, visually, this creature is not something common. Like, this isn't something that would be, like, just wandering around. Usually you hear creatures like this that have created quite a legend for themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, roll history for me, actually. Uh, that's another 20, yeah? Yep. I was gonna say, I also have nature. (laughs) Yeah, history or nature, you can pick. I'm drooling over here. Oh, well, I got 19, so... Okay. okay. So um, I got so with history or nature that's a twenty one. You actually you recognize this creature, uh, and it's past. Uh I'm gonna let you take over with that, Sparks. What, telling the creature story? Yeah, telling the you she rolled a nineteen, which okay. is pretty damn good, so she probably is knows a lot about you. Um oh, do you wanna yeah. go ahead and just relay that then? A little brief history about what Kai is and where where her history lies. Uh, Kai's uh, a pretty old kaiju at this point. She, um, it, her species of kaiju go through like, you know how babies go through the terrible twos. Well, they have something like that, but it's like a teenage year. And back then, she was known as the Mall. She would just devour entire villages. She was quite the scourge in her <laughs> teenager years but has since mellowed out with age. Um, During that time, uh, she sort of caused a lot of chaos. Uh, Was there a lot of things? Was it any specific location or? Wherever she went. Wherever she went, okay. Yeah, she was was quite the the scourge. Enough that she got her own name, The Maul. So yeah, historically you recognize uh, that this creature from probably from uh, tapestries and some sort of like, you know, just I wouldn't say posters, but like you, you've seen this character in lore as quite a destructive force. Um, but from that history, you do figure out that it didn't seem to like it, it sort of died out the mm-hmm. destruction from this specific monster. Um, and you haven't seen anything recent pop up about it for quite a long time now. Um, Nothing from his country or his town or anything? What, am I wrong on that, Sparks? What? You yeah, no, you were... she hasn't been uh, a menace since she kind of more matured into adulthood. So it's been like a couple hundred years at least yeah. since she's been like a problem. She technically has faded into history, you know, like a story. Delicious. Unless you're like dragon kin and you're that old or something, but you know. No. I'm it all really depends on age at that point. <laughs> Pretty sure my character I'm has Sorry. Some... Sparks, I love you. I've never heard of somebody refer to Dragonborn as Dragon Kin. Listen, okay? <laughs> when you come from a totally different fandom, creature. Everything is kin. <laughs> I was gonna say my character probably like make it probably some of the elders for my characters like group of other horse flock. See, Dragonborn horse? just makes me think of Skyrim. I think of kin. I mean, it's the same concept, really. I know, but... Except what is cooler. <laughs> um, when you're done discussing her, I want to do something. Sure, I just want to relay like what Turgundy does at this point because she's the last person that hasn't really had a chance to, okay. and then we're gonna jump back to you, uh, Turgundy. Engaging response. Train? That <laughs> was hey. Train. Hey, I'm <clears throat> what Yeah, do uh, uh, audio's being weird. Um, uh, have you been able to hear everything so far? Oh, yeah, I've been able to hear. It's just y'all. Okay. Me, because I have to pick up the. and put it right up to my face. <sighs> okay. Um, well, you've you've witnessed all this going on here. Um, you've gauged a little bit of information. Uh, Sylvan, I don't think you've had a chance to relay any of that yet, because we're sort of in like a little bit of a slow-mo time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Turgundi, what is your position on this, and what would you like to do? I see the monster in the cage. And, um, I don't know. Sparks a little bit of curiosity, and I kind of want to sneak around to the back part of the cage to get a closer look. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll stealth, then. Dun, dun, da, 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 dun, dun. <laughs> uh, well, 
I was gonna say that turned into like some sort of catchy fifties hip hop tune. Okay. Uh, I rolled a nineteen. Nice. All right. Um, you are. That's with my. That's with my pluses. Yep. Okay. You are easily able to sneak around through all the distraction of the crowds. They're all focused on the monster. They're not really paying attention to you in the back. Um, and you easily make it around to the back of the cage to get a better look. Are you looking for anything in particular, or just trying to I didn't... see what it is? You're the <laughs> stealthiest goddamn drunk. <laughs> I mean, I'm a bugbear. Um, yeah, I mean, I you just... would think they'd be on guard for this, but... <laughs> no. Um, I kind of want to... I want to roll history for it, even though... Just for the whole thing of, hey, now my character knows this without having to ask, so you wouldn't have to say Sure, anything. go ahead. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you you don't know the full history of it. Uh. You do know like you recognize that this is a creature that you've seen probably seen Sylvan looking at in books and like maybe just glanced at over their shoulder. Um. <laughs> I would say roll with disadvantage, but I don't know if you're drunk. <laughs> I think it's safe to assume that she's always drunk. Regardless, like you, you recognize this from pictures that you've seen, uh, and you, you also know that this is something that probably hasn't been active for. A I while. would imagine that, like, I don't know, there'd probably be like old pictures of her murals or shit up yeah, in like a I mean, tavern like you, every once in a while, like, like old Asian things of like Pokemon that people make now. Those kind of drawings. Oh, I like those. Um, yeah, you've seen things like that in, like, historic lore, but I you've never a... seen one in person. Yukio yi Yukio yi or something like that? Y Yokai Watch? No. Yo no. Yukio e It's a type of art style. What were you saying, Dre? That's a big girl. <laughs> I like how you that is a big girl. Uh, yeah. Hi, you are currently trapped in the cage, uh, and you see these people, kind of these sort of out of place people in this village, looking at you funny. Um, what is your what is your position on this situation? What kind of cage is it? Um, you can make a perception check to find out. <laughs> I want to break out of the cage. Okay. I guarantee you this cage cannot hold her. <laughs> Could be hold her by I should have checked this earlier, but let me check the health of materials. Uh, remember, she has the siege skill. Oh, shit. What is your... I forgot about that. I don't know. Every time that. I try and click on the box, my whole thing jumps down, so I can't actually get to it. I so for you, reopening it. This still makes the question of, how did you get stuck in the box? <laughs> That's a good question. There was a there was a banana on there, and they just kind of pulled on the stick, and it happened. That That's what I was thinking too, honestly. I'm trying to reopen this. <laughs> I, I don't gonna... think we actually gave you siege because we figured you would just attack like a regular person. You did Pretty, no, you. It's on there. Is it okay? Yeah, you siege monster. Structures. All right, let me figure out what this object's strength is, just to oh, be God. sure. That's ridiculous. Okay. God, you're not nearby because I want to. I want to give. Go ahead and just roll an attack roll for me. With which dice? D twenty plus your strength or your your attack modifier. Oh, great. I have to find it. I have like eight tabs open right now. <laughs> plus the bane. Would Wait, that you... be the attack bonus, or is that yeah. something else? Your attack bonus. Ooh. Uh, hold on. Basic math. You could use the the. the That's the, the true wolf. enemy of this LP, or not the LP. Twenty four. Okay, nice. you definitely are able to do some damage on this thing. Uh, let's see. Iron has. I know the AC. We need another hit points. Oh fuck this! All right, you do some so a lot of damage. Uh, 
Um, and I mean, you, you severely dent this cage. In fact, you actually tilt the cart enough to jar one of the horses and they start to kind of go in panic mode. Um, God, you got a person on each side of you. I'll flip a coin. Oh, have it be Turgundy. Yeah, Turgundy, make a dexterity saving throw for me. I was gonna say, can my yes. character go try to calm the horse? Hey, big fall. Oh. <laughs> big boy. Oh, it's a good girl. It's a big, good girl. Big, <laughs> big, good boy. Oh, shit. Uh, I got a 14. How's that? Um, yeah, you you narrowly managed to avoid being knocked up by the side of this cage here as it tilts back towards you, um, doing like a cool dive roll sort of thing out of its way. Um, Kai, you don't quite manage to break it open, uh, but you definitely give the crowd quite a scare. And that the, 24 the wasn't side... doubled. No, that wasn't your damage, though, and, and and there's a reason for this. This is not so much to just just roll along with me. Grandma, cheers! Um, <laughs> Woo! Show. Uh, the old woman at the side starts to scream to the crowd, saying, We've got to kill it now while we still have a chance! And she wields her pitchfork towards you, Kai, uh, threateningly, and the rest of the crowd starts to go a little bit more aggro. Um, Do they knock me over? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot you're tiny. Um, they knock me seeing, back. seeing all of these, this is like an entire town's worth of people here, okay. and you guys are seeing this. Do you decide to do anything, or are you just gonna let this play out? No, I'm going to. I'm going to intervene. I, I, I protect big, big, <laughs> big beast. Must protect. Hi. I'm a druid. I have to. It's in my nature. And, and okay. I'm pretty sure I know this at this point, and I'm just like, you know what? I just have to stop this from getting any more chaotic. Okay, can I, um... um what? No, go ahead. Um, no, turn to Grundy's deal. immediate reaction to uh, the woman lifting the pitchfork, as in to, like, try to hurt the beast in the cage, Turgundy immediately goes in front of the woman, like, as in, like, the area between her and the cage. Okay. Do you say anything? Um, um well, okay, in my drunkenness, I put out my arm <laughs> I put out my arms and I'm like You're not gonna have uh, pug picky pokey the, the beef. Don't touch it. <laughs> uh, okay. What my esteemed okay. friend okay. colleague here. Um, um, can I roll to investigate if anybody's dropped any like treasures or <laughs> fucking pickpocket people. Uh, um, yeah, well, I, I, if they dropped it, but do you think I should pickpocket some people? Which would, would I'm tempted. It would be easier to roll for that. Um, okay. Go ahead and make a sleight of hand check for me. Okay, let me go to my thing. I, okay, what is my? Uh, and I'm gonna say do it at disadvantage because there are a lot of people and you kind of stand out as a hey, bush. Woman. I was going to go on the ground and collect scraps, but you're like this sleight of hand. <laughs> oh, dang a ring. <laughs> dang a ring. Evan! I'm just trying, it's like I'm trying to touch their butt, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you reach up to try and slip your hand into the pocket of an unsuspecting villager, and you, like, as you do, he sort of, like, takes a step back, and you accidentally end up just, like, gently cupping his left Booty. ass cheek. <laughs> and you, like you stand there for a second and he stands there for a second and he looks down at you and you look up at him and you both kind of have this mutual exchange of just like we're not going to acknowledge this as he steps no, away was it at least a firm butt cheek was it a nice butt cheek um he was a farmer so yeah I mean he, he does squats <laughs> listen I just put my eyebrows at him <laughs> <laughs> listen I gotta turn away he's gonna be like hey if I wiggle my eyebrows he'll run away Roll charisma. <laughs> you wiggle my eyebrows. <laughs> Wait. Okay, that is. I think I know what that is. That is a thirteen. Okay, no, he's creeped out. <laughs> he's still, just a little bit, just a little tiny. He's like, no, no. Like he he has that moment where he like he considers it for a second and then he like shudders and then steps away and he actually moves to the other side of the crowd. <laughs> 
Um, well, can I do a quick investigation on if there's anything on the no. ground I can pick up? <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> That's a 20! Oh! <laughs> oh, do you I get anything? Like a hawk scanning the horizon, you search for some sort of lost treasures in the sea of feet. Or food. Or food. That's a treasure. Um, <laughs> you find a couple of candy wrappers and, like, the oh, edge God. of a piece of bread that a, a baby has dropped. Oh, God! Yes! God. <laughs> and it's yours. You can add crust to your list of yes. items. Yeah! Crust and baby wrapper! I eat, I, I lick the wrappers and I look so happy about it. Yeah. There's, like, this little taste of rainbow. Like, you know, taste the rainbow? Like, it'll... Okay, right. I'm done with my... Yeah, uh, my character. I shit fuck. I don't know what my character's doing. What would my character be doing with this? You don't just like, this happen? <laughs> just like I don't have any spells that just make loud noises and do nothing else. Because uh, thunder wave. You have pressed like, No. Hmm. I have dancing lights. I can make lights. I mean, that would draw attention. Um. Well, I guess I'm gonna make some lights in the air and try above uh, above the crowd and hopefully distract them. Okay, so standing behind them, uh, you do this. Are you? I'm gonna let you get creative here. I'm not gonna take control over everything with the campaign. Um, God, this is would how you we... like to add some finesse here and describe how you do this? Shit. In the bar. Do you dance? I I was gonna imagine. <laughs> it was... Do you do like a like a like a Sailor Moon dance thing? Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Please do like a Sailor Moon thing. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just... Let's get the music for it. Oh, oh fuck, hold on, let me see if I can- while you're thinking of your description here, I'm gonna see if I can find some Sailor Moon music. Bam, he's down to <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have all watched Sailor Moon at some point in yeah. our life. At least an episode that you at least know the theme song. Yes. Like, and the- and the ribbons- the ribbons of, like, that turn into clothing, like, they go on you, but nothing actually goes on you, so it's just like, okay. <laughs> right, dramatically you flowing cloth. You better start explaining what you do. <laughs> My character, with the most dramatic flair he can muster, twirls the fuck around, holding his hands in the- <laughs> twirling his hand around in the air. <laughs> looking- <laughs> I can't fucking concentrate! <laughs> And there, you see lights above the people, surprising everybody with them. My character has moved. He's moved slightly closer. <laughs> oh, I want to have just an added effect. Go ahead and roll career or roll performance for me, just to see if we can make this as high as we possibly can. Oh God, my per my uh, performance. Oh, I know it's <laughs> It should be good. You are a bard. I rolled an 18, so plus five equals All 23. Right. <laughs> The entire crowd turns around, distracted by your beautiful display. Even Sabuji is moved to tears. <laughs> oh shit, I have to actually make a speech. I don't have a fucking full speech. I'm like fucking ass. Oh my god, Grandma! Are you nuts? Do I have to be right next to her? Yeah, <laughs> Here. Calm yourself before you become no better than the horses. <laughs> so right, the panic horses. <laughs> um, yeah, with a roll like that, hell yeah, uh, you you have swayed this entire crowd, much to the disdain of the woman standing before them. Um, actually, no, she because you rolled so good, she's <laughs> listening too, and she actually takes your words to heart. Um, mm -hmm. And she she agrees with you. Uh, she puts down her pitchfork. And announces to them, uh, th The bard is right. We must change our opinions here. We must give this creature a fair chance. And, uh, she doesn't... I don't know if she would agree to let you out or not, Kai. Kai, you still seem pretty hostile. Uh, seeing all this, do you have a reaction towards ones who are standing up for you? She, she mostly just wants out of the cage. 
Okay. Um. Well, did did the distraction sort of calm you a little bit? I mean, she was certainly entertained, even though you can't <laughs> see any discernible eyes on her. Um, Turgundi, the woman turns to you, and she reaches into her pocket and offers you a key to open up the cage. Um, fully swayed in believing that this creature's not going to turn on them. Yeah. Either that, either she did that, or I was gonna break the cage open. I was gonna try to help break the cage open. So, doing this, <laughs> I immediately fumble with the key. Am I gonna have to make you make a dex check at disadvantage <laughs> to put a key Please in a hole? Don't. I mean, can, can I just take the key from her and just open it myself? The I woman mean, gently okay, assists no, no, you. No, I'm just gonna say, I it fell, whenever she handed it to me, it fumbled in my hand a little bit. I almost dropped it, but I caught it. And then <laughs> I turn around the, to the cage. I hit my horns on the cage too. It was. <laughs> oh. oh. And then I clink the key into the cage and open it. My character has your you have you have candy sympathy sympathies as he used to be a unicorn. Achievement unlocked. What? The woman really? back, um, <laughs> allowing space. Uh, the crowd sort of is hesitant at this point. They're not sure what you're going to do. Um, but they've put down their porch porches, their torches <laughs> and pitchforks. They've put down their entire porch. <laughs> they they built a stage. Unanimously as one. <laughs> they put but down it... the porches and pitchforks. They they were they had to use no, the porch no, wood for their torches. No, I won't let well, anyone. <laughs> So now that the cage door is open, uh, yes. this the cage door is obviously much too small for her, but she just kind of distorts her body until she gets out through it. And when she stands up, you realize she's really fucking big. <laughs> well, stretch lights. It's a it's a scaly ferret. It's not a scaly <laughs> ferret, Grandma. <laughs> I can't see. I'm still looking at this guy over here. I know. You just you keep making friends, okay? Don't don't touch his butt though. She's trying to find that ass again. <laughs> so Turgundi, you step aside and you give room for Kai to leave the cage. Uh, the horses actually move forward a little bit uh, to make room and clear up some space. Give you guys a little bit of room. Uh, the it's woman okay. here. I, I told the horses to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the woman it here be... gets moved to the right layer. Oh, not the house. Oops. Oh, <laughs> the whole house moves. <laughs> the house is haunted. You're welcome. The house mo is moved in awe by my performance. <laughs> <laughs> it was so great. Even the houses were like, shit, that's good. <laughs> Baba Yaga, my one. No, Um. So you guys, Kai, I'm assuming that you're taking the favor of the people who have convinced the crowd not to burn you alive. Uh, Kai uh, has switched from standing upright to all fours, and uh, she is just for first she's looking around and even without eyes you can tell she's kind of pissed off at you know the miraculous light display was pretty amazing and everything but she's pretty mad about being in a cage and uh her her face splits open four ways and opens up and the great maul on her belly opens up as well and she lets out this horrific roar of anger she's very angry uh, the the crowd actually roll intimidation. Oh, hold on, I don't even know what that is for her. <laughs> I have uh, to try and find it. Be, apparently, it's supposed to be Chris, but I think this, this strength would make much more sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll allow yeah. strength whenever you're intimidating. That's it makes more sense to me. All right, so that's a twenty. Natural. No, I mean, is that what I'm rolling? A twenty yes. plus strength? Yeah. No. Sure. Well, normally it's you gotta let me know. But... Well, well, normally it's charisma, but I'm making an executive decision to allow strength. Well, I mean, if it was charisma, it's negative one, so... Yeah, that's why I think it's kind of bogus. I mean, you're a big, scary monster. 
So, uh, 21. All right. They are fucking shitting themselves. <laughs> um, the woman actually reels back a few more steps. Uh, she obviously is realizing now that her pitchfork was nowhere near enough to even <laughs> graze the surface of this creature in front of them. And uh, she actually turns to you guys and says, um, how, how could you figure out that this wasn't the creature stealing our livestock and killing our livestock, though? I mean, it, look at her. Oh, she's massive and horrifying. And she was out by the ravine where, where they keep disappearing. Uh, Kai utters in a deep, yet feminine, growly voice, rude. <laughs> <laughs> I had absolutely no idea. I just figured that that since we were you were civilized humans, that you would actually you know do the right thing, which is you know actually have a trial, investigate. Okay, well, but I, think, I have I a better explanation. So, I have a better explanation. This used to be a horrible monster, but it's been like thousands of years since she last attacked anything. I She's too old anybody. for this. I'm touching the unicorn. Ball. <laughs> you called her old. No, <laughs> oh. she she is she has matured now. <laughs> she no longer needs to destroy. Oh, she's staring oh, you down. No. You called her old. I am sweating profusely. <laughs> uh, Candy has moved around the crowd. More of a um, she's like, what is it? Whenever you look at something and you're just like. I love this thing, but I don't know how to explain. Just great. So, Grundy, you're just like, you're not entirely there. You're just sort of like staring half drunkenly at the guy. <laughs> it's kind of like, like those so moments. In Kai. I was going to say, it's kind of like those moments where you have an explanation for what you did, you just can't put it into fucking words. Can I um, try to do something? <clears throat> sure. Is it touching butts? No, is, are you gonna try to touch All my butt again? I'm gonna try to deceive this group uh -oh. into believing me. Should I use charisma or deception? Well, if you're going to deceive them, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I want to. Okay, let me see if I can. Okay, I, I wish you to... luck, my friend. Should I tell you what I want to say before? Oh, or just... You can tell the party. I mean, this can be okay. a group decision. She wants... She's like, everybody listen. Listen closely. Gather around. I am an ancient one. A crone, some may say. And I know this creature means no harm and has caused no harm to any creature. Foul or... She forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Foul or human or flora. I was gonna say, you were water. so, so good. I know. But She's grandma. Creature. She forgets sometimes. I know. That's what that was. Yeah. She and has she... that moment where, like, she pauses mid sentence with her mouth open, and like a fly <laughs> flies into <laughs> her mouth, <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't seem phased by it when she starts talking again. <laughs> oh, I can assure you, as an elder, I have seen this creature, and it has reached its expired date of danger. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> nudge. I this nudge turn grandma into the with my foot. Parents. Get I know it's Grandma would like to like, the parents no. get. <laughs> I'm just kind of like That's shaking my head, and Grandma would be like, "No, no, don't call her old. She's mature and a very beautiful thing, monster." No, I already said it. She's six. Oh my God, sixteen. Okay. Oh, um, some of them are a little bit skeptic. Like they don't, they understand <laughs> what you're saying, but they're fly. and they 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 feel like they can believe the part about the monster, but they don't know if they believe the part about you being an elderly woman. And I'm like, like, yes, you're old, but that doesn't mean you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> but some of them, most of them, look like they believe you. Um, the old woman, the the elder, not elderly, the, the slightly older woman off to the side, uh, kind of nods her head at your words, and then she looks back at your group and says, "Well, if it wasn't her, then what has been killing our animals? Why don't we just ask her? She might know." Kai starts to leave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! I want to come back me! <laughs> Can I follow? Yeah. I, I, I shout to Grandma, don't let her leave, we still need her. I want- I stood up for you, I wanted meat in return. 
She's not gonna say that, but that's why she is following you. Turgundi is so mesmer. Turgundi, please do not leave, ladies, dams. Do not leave the village. Kind of holds up her hands and she goes, "Well, well, well wait, wait, wait. You, you are all clearly adventurers of some sort. Maybe you can help us with this problem. It's getting a little bit out of hand." <laughs> well, I'm sure you've heard the rumors, but we've had a very big issue with some of our livestock at night uh, wandering off, and we've noticed that any time they seem to go off towards the ravine, they just disappear, and What's we the find their bodies the next day covered with a bunch of a bunch of like almost stab wounds of some sort. We assumed that they were teeth based off of this creature, but clearly Chibata. that's wrong. What's the reward? Well, it depends on who you ask, I guess. I'm, I'm just a lowly you. villager. <laughs> uh, well, we should probably go find the mayor. You look like a queen. That's a compliment. Okay. Uh, <laughs> can I ask the lady oh. a quick question? Sure. Uh, who was the first one to find the um, the massacred cattle livestock? That's a good question. Let me casually open the module and check. <laughs> oh. We probably uh, should ask the bear. Maybe? Ask him if he has any monies. She says, um, I couldn't tell you exactly who the first person was, but I do know a couple of different people who have had experiences that might be able to give you more information. Um, the first one is the local merchant woman. Uh, she's in one of the, uh, trade buildings here. Um, you'll know her when you see her. Uh, and the second would probably be the, uh, tavern owner. The owner of the, uh, Tavern. Old Boar Inn. <laughs> yes, the Tavern Man. <laughs> uh, obviously, everyone who comes here with a story is going to tell it to him, uh, and he could probably give you any information that you need. And also the mayor. Uh, he probably knows more about this than anybody else. See, I'm just sitting here thinking, there's all these people here, and they all just crap themselves, or just stand in there. <laughs> they're all... They're just... <laughs> I love that they're just all kind of standing there awkwardly. <laughs> Try to... okay. So you've got a couple different locations to go check out. Um, we've got the village hall. Uh, it's the there's the general store, uh, the shrine, and mm -hmm. the old boar inn. <gasps> it's a little hard to tell what's what. Uh, just see. just tell me which one you want to go to. Uh, be it as a group, wherever. Uh, and these buildings are for show. Ah. All right, well, I we turn to go... my group and like, well, who do you want to see first? Cause... Tavern. Tavern? Tavern. All right. Tavern. Well, Grandma spoke first, so we'll go to the tavern. Okay. So, uh, that one's the only one that actually has a place to go. Uh, Kai, are you deciding to join them on this? I mean, they did sort of take your favor and try to help you out. Candy is quite beautiful, put on quite the show for you. I yeah. too am beautiful. <laughs> no, you're not. Kai oh. is not interested at all. Why would she want to help these villagers out who put her in a cage? Well, if we find out the real person, then they would you stop bothering her. Um, Kai, you actually, you're from the ravine um, in this story. Uh, that's where they found you and took you captive in the middle of the night where they thought they could kind of get away with this. Um, you actually have been having trouble lately down there. Um, a lot of issues with, uh, goblins and kobolds and other creatures that you haven't quite been able to recognize before have been popping up more and more in your territory. Um, it seems to be the same shared issue as the villagers here. Uh, they're having a problem with that as well. So if you did decide to investigate a little bit more, you might be able to help find an answer to your own problem in your home. I was actually gonna go talk to the tavern keeper myself, but I kind of wanted to, cause, just because my character is not technically part of the group, go talk to the merchant woman. He, he, comes to once. He, he has danced his way into our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> he has twirled his way into hearts. Thank you very much. I'm gonna sit on your shoulder, Sergi. Thank you. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Yay. Just... Alright, so. You can be in my I shoulders. Hold, I hold fistfuls of hair and pull at it. Ow. <laughs> Turgundi, you, you went over there. 
You're not over here. There's a problem. <laughs> Train, are you there? I, I've been trying to do something. Oh, that's I the first mistake. I think yeah. audio. So, out. Kai, Kai, are you just gonna fuck wait, off? I mean, wait. I think um, I think Turgundy wanted to pet Kai. Yes, I did. Yeah. I was asking if that's something that's allowed. Uh, you'll have to ask Kai. Kai, can I pet you? <laughs> that's the most undrunk thing you've said. <laughs> you turn your head and just say that to him. To her. Um, well, no, she's just more like... In a brief kinda... moment of sobriety. <laughs> I need she to like, pet this weird dog. He's like... Oh, speaking of puppies, did somebody wake up again? <laughs> oh, the belly. Is it Train? Did Train wake up again? <laughs> Um, wait, did, did anybody hear what I had said? No. You cut pat out. I heard pat 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 pat. Okay, so Turgundy lifts her hand. It's like... <laughs> the, um... Uh, the... Her, her face has returned to a normal looking... Uh, snout. It's no longer open and full of, you know, teeth. And she kind of, like, stares at you for a minute, and just kind of grunts, which you can assume means okay. I mean, but you're- it could also not me. It's just a grunt. <laughs> uh, Turgundy's gonna go a little forward, and she's gonna, like, slowly bring her hand up to the top of the- <laughs> Wait. Nasal ridge? Because down on all fours, right? Yeah, I mean, she's still pretty damn tall, but, like... I love that you guys are reenacting the scene from How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... We can't, I mean, Turgundy's a nature person. She's gotta, mm -hmm. like... I mean, she's watching for body language. I mean, she's still kind of angry, but she doesn't seem aggro. Okay. Uh, so Turgundy, do you have any um, food on you? Uh, I don't know if I have any food. Actually, I don't have any. I thought I gave you a piece but of pie. I can offer good pets. So I probably she, gave you food at her some Her hand point. finally reaches. I mean, I'm I'm making it canon way. that you guys all. Yeah. It's sure. pretty much unlimited rations. I'm not gonna worry about that stuff. If you want to have like some jerky with you at some point, sure. You working with Grandma? She only got snacks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Grandma's keeping you guys in high supply. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Grandma, Great. can I have some jerky? Yeah. I was gonna say, are you sure you want jerky? I mean, it's probably made out of babies, but no, I'm not. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not eating the jerky. Oh, all right. Well, she digs under her. Desk. We'll never see what's under there, and she produces a single slice of jerky. Thank you, Grandma. Uh, I I toss the piece of jerky towards Kai as a peace offering. I'm just trying to give her some space. <laughs> but not, you know, actually going I, next to her. I just kind of, like, toss it warily in her direction. Can um, I, like, sh I mean, you might get bit because they're throwing something at her. She doesn't know if it's food or not, but... I just gently, I just gently toss it over. Just roll for it! Don't, like, you don't want to get bit by her. <laughs> what, train? Catch and present. Okay. Uh, I, you guys are playing this out on your own. I mean, Kai, I'm pulling, do you I'm pulling on Suki's like his lips and stuff, like pulling back his <laughs> and shit, and his eye lid and stuff. I'm I'm trying to watch this. Is that, are you know how kids do that? <laughs> this really hurts having my eyeballs being peeled away from my face. <laughs> what? Was I supposed to get peeled away from the face? What? Oh, uh, Grandma's pulling at my face to get a better look at Kai. You know how, like, kids do that when they want to, like, grab onto something? They pull on lips and like that. <laughs> and I just kind of take it. I don't tell her to stop or anything. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Alright, so, uh, Turgandi, uh, manages to catch the food. Let's say that, uh, it was thrown closer to Turgandi, so she caught it. <clears throat> And, uh, Kai is, like, the fuck is this? So, that 
giant mouth comes over and she sniffs at it. She realizes it's food and then the giant maul opens up and the food is just gone. Thankfully, no fingers were taken with it. Turgundy gives a warm smile. The both of the drunk Sushi. smile. Sushi gets Sushi and Grandma give no thanks. They they were not appreciating their war efforts at all. She's got her head tilted almost like completely around, like an owl. Oh. <laughs> you know what? This. How about we just turn around? Here, look, look, we turned around now. Um, <laughs> while all this is happening, the crowd is slowly starting to disperse. Uh, <laughs> they gotta go clean their pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose we should eventually event skate. The horses are taken off, along with their cage. I uh, I turn to face um, Candy, and I go, "That was quite a performance. You had everyone impressed." <laughs> My character does a deep bow, one of those very fancy performance bows. Takes off its hat. One of the deepest bows. <laughs> Uh, and twirls, I, does the, the fanciest twirly bow hat thing, and just goes, Why, thank you! <laughs> uh, and I introduced um, Tudungi Grandma and myself to uh, Candy. And then I also introduced the Ma as the Ma. And, and yeah, I don't do anything else. Okay, so Sylvan, you're sort of acting almost as like an ambassador uh, for Kai's <laughs> reputation mm -hmm. uh, to explain to the others who they are, what their history is, where they've stood throughout mm -hmm. time. Kai, you actually, you hear Sylvan explaining this to them, um, and it's some pretty in-depth knowledge of you and your past and everything that you've done. Um, any kind of reaction or thoughts? Do I impress you? I wanted to she... do an overdramatic introduction with you. She kind of, like, butts her massive head kind of, like, all up in your space. And, you know, that in itself is kind of like, whoa. But, uh, she's, like, checking you out, and she's, like, trying to figure out how old you are that you know all of this. Um, why don't you roll perception? I don't know what hers even is. Turgundy's gonna ask for Kai's name. Hold on, I'm trying to find a dice here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grandma calls for Trigun. Come here, come here, I got some. 17. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold. Okay. I don't think we even wrote that down on your character sheet, Sylvan. So would you oh, know, like, Sylvan's not oh. old enough to, you know. I, yeah, I mean, it's it's obvious that he's not old enough. Um, You do get an idea. I, he's, I have 29. He's definitely... A, an adult for his age, um, you, although at first it kind of seems like he's just sort of a triton, um, you actually can pick up on the scent of dragon in him, so you do recognize him as a dragonborn. Um, that's something you have definitely come across in your time, and you actually know that like dragons are pretty tough people, so to smell that uh, mixed with something else might be. Be worth so he is uh, assaulted, assaulted with the uh, hot air of rapid, I guess, sniffing. <laughs> so like when a dog goes, <laughs> only it's like really fucking hot air, <laughs> and like it's it's enough to like blow his hair around. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Can I try something? Sure. Here's this is Dungeons thing. and Dragons. Yes. Uh, Grandma has the power of mimicry. A green hag and her descent is able to mimic the sound of any animal it has heard before. Okay. So while you're sniffing, she's going to make that same powerful roar at you. <laughs> Come out of the <laughs> <a> windbag. <laughs> um, Silbon's eardrums have been blown out. <laughs> no. Turgundy's hair all stands on end. Uh, Kai, uh, takes her battle stance again. My character, despite having his hat not actually strapped to his head, only gets a mild ruffling of his clothes. <laughs> if it makes it easier like, for you guys, if it does make it easier or not, um, you can refer to your character as I or me. Um, yeah, that would some people bad. do prefer that. I, I do it either way. Well, I wave my hand. I wave my hand, and I say. I'm Kidding, my name's Suvaji, but you can call me Grandma. I'm Southern all of a sudden. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I get my language back after I mimic. Just uh, kind of gets all. 
Why, it's so good to meet you, man. My name is Kanandi Fun Funfetti, Bard and Unicorn. <laughs> I forgot you named him Funfetti. <laughs> Uh, I take, um, I take a symp um, sympathetic bow to Kai to, like, to, like, say sorry. Grandma. I'm too, yeah, I'm, like, like, trying to apologize for Grandma, but, like, she doesn't have proper I manners. Out. Please excuse me. I hold out my hand as in to, like, give, like, a calming notion to Kai. <laughs> as in to try to, like, tell her that she doesn't have to go into battle stance, that she's not in any danger. Um, you know, just Kai, talk to about it. Kai looks at the, the gesture, and uh, she kind of laughs, and she, uh, again, in that voice, when she speaks, her mouth doesn't move. This is uh, telepathic, what you hear. Um... Uh, so you hear her laughter, which is kind of rich, it's feminine, growly, it's a little scary, but also kind of cool. And she says, no threat. So uh, she doesn't see you guys as a threat at all. All right. Well, thank goodness. Um, she kind of just, like, sighs in, like, relief. She doesn't even take offense to it. Also, uh, um, DM was, was going to ask since... Uh, was, was I was kind of confused because like I, I was actually now that I think I'm mildly confused that like people like other characters actually listen to my character who is who looks very much like a drow. Yeah, no, you guys have a fucking hat I go with you. Um Point. <laughs> and a oh, demon oh, bugbear. I think you're good. Point. Yeah, I was gonna say point. <laughs> um uh, it can be noted though. Uh I'll have you I'll try and pay attention to that. Cause, um, like, so you guys because like, I'm confused come... that nobody's making fun of my character for introducing himself as his <laughs> bard and unicorn yeah. when he looks like a drow. <laughs> really, my character's just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Whatever folks you both, man. Grandma, look at this. Also, it might seem weird that I actually am wanting my character to be, please insult my character for thinking he's a unicorn. It's funny. So, um, Kai, you, uh, you, I'm assuming you're considering heading back home. Uh, currently, she's not very interested in the quest. Like, here's some people, that's nice. But she's not too terribly interested at the time. Okay. Uh, can, I, um, can I try to convince her to stay? Yeah, you can definitely try. Okay, I put uh, my mask on. You know my scary mask? Yeah, you. okay. You that really helped, Grandma. Thanks. Turkey <laughs> <laughs> um, lays down on the ground. <laughs> We'll say at least two of you are attempting to convince Kai to come with you, so uh, whoever has the highest persuasion, go ahead and roll with advantage. Uh, persuasion. Yeah, okay, so if you have a poor man, let's do it. Sure, because I, I, I don't actually have persuasion as one of my... Well, my persuasion's still, like, three, but I didn't I have it as one of my things. You didn't it make five. it a proficiency? I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna change that. Can I change that? Sure. I'm gonna probably, probably remove that from, I don't know, uh... Sushi, what do you have? <laughs> Animal handling! I have zero animal. persuasion. Actually... <laughs> I have five! <laughs> I don't know why, but Mama Kaiju, you are proficient in persuasion, too. Or no, I'm sorry, uh, that's perception. Okay, I was gonna say persuasion... Uh, yeah, I was really confused when I saw that. And gets her away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna roll my persuasion now, since it's actually five instead of, like, three. I have five! No, we you already threatened her like three times. You don't get to talk anymore, Grandma. Your spooky mask is not helping you any. The unicorn <laughs> boy gets to do it. She can fit in. She feels more at home. No, she Eleven doesn't. Eleven plus five oh, equals fifteen. Not fifteen. Sixteen. Math. I know, Dad. And shut up. You're gonna roll again and take the higher. Oh, wow, I got six. <laughs> uh, five plus five equals ten, so fifteen. Okay. Uh, Kai? What? Would you say that- I would say that's enough to convince you, um, cause you know that you've been having some trouble over in the ravine, uh, with upcoming issues, and these people appear to be trying to solve the same issues as you. Kai thinks about it a little bit, and she decides that, well, I guess I'll deal with it- deal with them for now, because they'll solve my problem, and then I'll have to deal with them. Alright. 
and it only took an hour to assemble the party. <laughs> you don't do anything with any rate of speed. Oh, it's a good thing this is a short campaign that only took me several months. All right. Let's see. You guys left off with the information uh, as follows. Let me pull it up. Um, the you know that there have been somebody's got an echo. It's probably a train. Ho hopefully, it's not me. It is sadly you. Uh, my headphones are what suck too. We need to get you a new pair or something. Yeah, I gotta charge my other ones, but my tablet has to charge, too. I used the, uh, they're called Gummy, and I just got them at, like, Walmart. They're really cheap, but they're not horrible. Alright. Alright. So, you, you know, going into this... I'm still hearing myself. Sorry, here. Uh, I'll try to fix the problem immediately. I was gonna say, would you like a constant beetly beeping noise in the background to help you keep from... It's just weird because I can hear myself echoing, and it's like, wait a minute, I already said that. What have I not said? <laughs> uh, here, let me yeah. try this. So, so far, the only thing that you've really been able to make out is that the, um... The local farmers and cattle herders, uh, they don't graze their stock too far from the fields these days. Um, they are frightened by stories of monsters that are coming up at night. Um, from time to time, cattle and sometimes people have even gone out alone at night and been found dead the next morning bearing dozens of needle-like wounds. Those sound like some really stupid people and cattle. <laughs> I mean, no one has seen any creatures, though. Uh, and they don't seem to leave any kind of trail. It's this the chupacabra. Is the same, this is the same sort of issue that you two have been fighting, uh, Kai. You've noticed this has been happening out closer to your end of things, because this is actually very local to the ravine where you have been staying. Um, if you were looking for more information about anything else going on in this town, there are a couple people to talk to. You can go to the village hall and talk to the mayor. Uh, his name is Mayor Werner Ling. Um, you can go to the general store where you were told that the uh, one of the merchant noble merchants there uh, has some information in regards to some of the people who've been disappearing. There is a shrine nearby. Um, there's also a jail, a blacksmith, and the inn. Oh, I said we go get some information. I'm the mayor? Oh, God. This is hilarious. Okay, so you guys are going to go see the mayor? Yeah, I guess. Yes. Go see the mayor. All right. Um, so you head into the center of the government building, uh, Village Hall. Um, mayor Werner is in there. Uh, you to talk to his secretary first. We're not going to use the map for this part because this is just all verbal. Okay. Um, he has a mouth. secretary? This medieval town has a secretary? Yes. <laughs> I'm the DM. There's candy wrappers. There was candy wrappers earlier. <laughs> I think we've already broken people's sense of disbelief. Okay, fine. Whatever. Hey, um, people used to brand their bread back in the day. Really? Yes, they did. Oh. Because Point. people would steal their bread and they would brand it so that whenever the bread got stolen they couldn't be like, hey, that was my bread, you stole it. Why can't you just eat the brand? I mean, then you'd be left with half a loaf of bread. Mine. But then no one was able to prove it that was theirs. Mine. Yeah. My mask is still on. How does this is still on. How does this receptionist feel about that? Okay, maybe it'd probably be the best if my character is the one who's in the lead, because he's probably the one of the few people who looks the most normal. Yeah, you walk into the mayor's office with a crazed ooga booga looking old lady, uh, and a monster and a who has to d d distort her body to get through. So <laughs> think like when you see a cat trying to fit through a really small spice, it's like that. <laughs> um, she like looks up from her book, uh, and where she was writing some sort of 
I don't know, probably a legal document of some sort for the mayor to sign. Probably uh, playing solitaire. <laughs> she looks up and sees you guys, and she sort of, like, stifles her own gasp at the sight of you. And then she goes, oh, uh, how can I help you? Take me to your leader, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're here to see Mayor Vernon. Yes. That was his name, right? Who is now? Yes, Werner. Ver, <laughs> Ver, 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 Can I ask Ver, what you're, you're here to see him for? Kai has I, found the uh, the the guest snack table and has eaten it oh. by <laughs> splitting her oh. face into four parts and slamming it down into the table and eating everything. <laughs> uh, there's uh. also uh, an indoor pond in this little lobby area. Oh hell yeah! Oh, that's next. She, she joins yeah. you. Hey, hey. Um, <laughs> I briefly I, I talked to the secretary the uh, okay. yes Sylvan you talked to her she asks you uh, what, what would you like to speak to the mayor with uh, mayor uh, about, about the recent disappearances of cattle and people and also we're not paying for damages in here uh, uh, sure uh, I'll go get him Thank you. Uh, and she gets up and she disappears into the back and a few minutes later a wait 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 wait, wait. before she does that can I try to take her ink I'm sure she has an ink thing. An inkwell? Like it's her quill? Yeah. No, yes. don't take you don't take her stuff. Her ink. Can I, are you can just... I... Grandma, don't take her stuff. Are you going to drink the inkwell? Don't. Gonna... Don't take her stuff. That's Grandma. 19. Oh, I can't stop you with a 19. I'm going to just drink it real nope. quick and I'm going to put it back. <laughs> you have to refill it. That's no, what I'm being very oh, rude. No. You drink her, her inkwell. Yes, and I put it right back. She won't know. Yes, she will. Well, she's your teeth fighting. might give it away. I her teeth are already terrible. terrible. You don't see all, right. all over my lips and my down my chin dripping like an old lady. Um, on. You, after a few minutes, a human man comes out. Uh, he's human. A human. Um, he is definitely older. Um, and he's actually bald uh, and has a beard. And he comes out to address you guys. And he goes, oh, yes, uh, I was told you wanted to speak to me about some of the things that have been going on in town lately. Uh, I take it that you are all adventurers. What gave it away, sir? Uh, probably your pet there. in the back there. <laughs> She's I mean, not who, pet. Who's the pet? We, <laughs> who's the pet? Well, he sort of, like, vaguely gestures to the group of you fucking around over by the pond. Like, I he doesn't want to commit to which one he accused. It cut. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I say in a stern voice, we none of us are pets, sir. And if you call us that again, uh, it would not end it very nicely for you. Of course, of course, my my deepest apologies. Oh my, is, is she all right? Please just ignore ignore the small one. That's a sound she always makes. Yes. Okay, as long as as long as it's normal. I mean, we have a very fine uh, infirmary here, a very fine apothecary. Don't. Uh, anything, any problems that she's got, I'm sure we could. That is the worst place to take her, because she will <laughs> she will just steal everything, and there'd be nothing any of us oh, could do. Oh, we can't have that, I'm afraid. Yes, so. Um, but yes, uh, you, you were looking for information. Uh, if you if you can help us, I'm, that would be fantastic. Um, first of all, uh, maybe let me know what you know first, and I'll pick you up from where we've left off. Well, I heard that you know, a few cattle and people have been going missing. At night, and been uh, found with uh, stab wounds in them. Dead. Kai chimes in from uh, after she just swallows the fish. She just says, "Bad monster." <laughs> oh. She helped. Yay. She did help. Very good, Kai. Um, I see. Uh, is that all? Is that all, um, everything you've heard about? Also, uh, this monster here is not the culprit. I mean, not this monster. This very young. A koi hunter. She's very clever and just beautiful. She's a her clever words. girl. She's a clever girl. <laughs> very spry. Quite the appetite on that one as well. Yes, that's, I like uh, this guy. <laughs> uh, hopefully, Grandma will be able to say her. I'm doing the slab squat. You know the slab squat. <laughs> well, let me start by giving you a little bit of history about our quaint little area. Um, as you know, this is the town of Oakhurst. Um, we live, we are the, the closest village to quite the legend uh, I've been led to be told. Um, there's a place not far from here uh, that we 
are told, was called the Sunless Citadel. Uh, and it was once known to be a fantastic building uh, that I believe the legend said a cult of dragon worshippers were there. Oh. Um, and it My was eyes actually sparkle in excitement. To a dragon. Uh, <laughs> Give me a moment to check my memory here. He stares into space vacantly for a couple okay, minutes. He kind of goes wall-eyed for... <laughs> a fly <laughs> flies into his mouth. His life is flashing <laughs> before his eyes. <laughs> oh my god, I saw the picture of the slab squad. I'm just like, yeah. Literally, I, I can mimic people like shapes, so I'm doing the wall-eyes. You know, <laughs> you know I'm, just, I'm just there to do that. <laughs> You're there to cause nothing but shenanigans. No, I'm listening. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Uh, well, we don't know for sure what it was, but aside from being a citadel, uh, but the legend tells that it was a tr retreat for an ancient dragon cult. Um, uh, the cult worshipped a dragon whose name was Ashardalon, and uh, it is said that his rampage is actually what caused the old road to lead to the Ashen Plain, um, which is where we believe the Sunken Citadel sunk. Or the, the Sunless Citadel sunk. Um, we've actually had a couple of adventurers of our own try and go off and investigate and figure out more about the Citadel, but they never came back, unfortunately. Hmm. Um, there were two of them that were local. It was a, a fighter named Taligan and a wizard named Sharwin. Uh, they were both siblings, and they were the descendants of our one of our local merchants. Um, <clears throat> but there were a few others who went off after this mysterious land. Um, one of them was a foreigner from the town of Paylor. His name was Sir Bradford. Uh, and the only thing I recall about him was that he had a very impressive magical sword with him called Shatterspike. Uh, and there was also a ranger named Karkith. Uh, anyone else, I'm afraid, I, they either didn't go through us, or we just have no recollection of their adventures down there. The only thing we know is that none of them have come back. All right. Some, something else, uh, there is this... Sorry. <clears throat> there, there. Sometimes we have goblins come up from down in the ravine. Um, whether or not they're associated with the Citadel, we don't know for sure, but... It's twice a year they come out and journey into town, and they bring forth a fruit. Um, and sometimes this fruit has magical power. Well, every time it has magical power, but they vary every time. Um, sometimes it can heal the most painful of ailments, and other times it causes death. What is this one piece? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why only two times a year? Oh, we're not quite sure. Perhaps that it is the only time that the fruit grows. In fact, some of us who have bought the fruits from the goblins, uh, we have tried to plant the seeds, but even though they grow into these straggly, all with strange-looking plants, we, we've been trying to grow the fruit ourselves. As soon as they reach about two feet in height, they just disappear, uprooted from the ground. And we think that the goblins might be coming back to <laughs> steal the plant back so that we can't grow it ourselves. I don't know, for some reason I just think of, like, the plants just walking away. <laughs> That's ridiculous. A plant <laughs> walking. What I mean, it's about as ridiculous as unicorns and monsters and hags laughing and dragonborns and people with horns. I like I, you, Candy. I suppose you have a point there. Uh, we don't get a lot of people of your type around here. Not to say that there's anything wrong with people of your type. We are welcoming with open arms. Uh, but we are not very exposed to the the failed world. Duly noted. Uh, thank you for your help, Mayor. And uh, if, you, if anything else comes up, please let us know. Absolutely. I, I would definitely thing. suggest talking to the mother of the two children who are lost. Perhaps she can offer you more information or anything else of the sort. Uh, that seems to kind of get Kai's interest. Uh, she raises her head from the pond, which is almost empty now. <laughs> and uh, she looks over, and the um, her split mouth closes up, so once again she looks like she has a normal face. 
and she just kind of questions questioning really please question god fucking i can't talk <laughs> questioningly repeats lost children no uh kai do you know anything about lost children had you come across any of them uh she kind of chuffs and uh she says find them okay See? Children, can I give like Turgundy half of the fish I ate? She needs. It's always good to eat. <laughs> Here, Turgundy, you get half a fish. Please eat. I was gonna say, you've already ate half the f- If they're giving her fa- half the fish you ate, are you regurgitating like a bird? <laughs> no, she only ate half the, mayor, the fish. The mayor She's... looks kind of like he's trying not to look visually upset, but he's definitely a little bit upset that you've just eaten all of his pet fish. <laughs> Uh, I start hurting everyone out. Uh, There's a pretty gold one in there still. (laughs) Oh good, that one was my favorite. Uh, I start hurting everyone out, and as we leave through the door, I uh, shout back to the mayor. We're not paying for any damages, goodbye. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, wait, wait a minute. Did you eat the candy bowl that's usually on the receptionist? Uh, I believe Kai explained that she ate the entire table she and its ate, contents. You ate the snack area. Usually they have a little bowl on the desk. She, she just eats food. everything. That's she don't care if it's food <laughs> or not. It smells like food, so well, therefore... she's gonna go over and she's gonna look in there and be like, look at the like the mayor, like how dare you? Like this is empty. <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> Good day, um, the secretary actually does have a pretty decorative glass bowl on her desk, um, but instead of candy inside, it's got marbles because well, she's the sexy those. young secretary watching her figure. Okay, I'm take marble. <laughs> you take a marble. Good I days. take marble also because I like the whole <laughs> kind of objects. Good oh, you you guys you get both... out of the mayor's office now before I drag da, you out. Da, da, da. You've acquired <laughs> marbles. <laughs> I hope at some point you lose them on the adventure. Okay. <laughs> we already lost our marbles. <laughs> Alright, uh, so you leave the village hall. Uh, would you like to go anywhere else? Uh, uh, and I should mention, um, it's actually dusk. Uh, when all that was going on uh, in the town square, it was dusk. Um, and it's actually, it's looming closer to, like, nighttime now. Ooh, well, I well, suppose as it's nighttime, it's as good time as any to see the tavern. Yeah, I was going to say either see the, see the mother or see the... Tavern, tavern. They awake? If it's nighttime? Well, we could just wake it's, them up. It's only just past sunset, um, so, and it's it's summertime, so it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of late, but... So you discover that Kai has, like, glowy glue, or blue on her body? It looks pretty awesome as it gets darker. I am very impressed with her glowiness. She's and like... I'm slightly jealous that I cannot glow. My character has to resist the desire to pet the glowy lights. What is this? Oh, good stretch, baby girl. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, (laughs) Brox. Why are you complimenting your dog on stretching? Because I'm proud of her. (laughs) I always tell her she's got a good stretch. Because she stretches a lot. She stretches just to hear the compliments. I'm a stupid dog. I was gonna say she's not a cat. Towards her. Oh, is it time to leave the room? (laughs) Yeah, you gonna get down? There she goes. All right, I gotta go let her out of the room real quick. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, Bond amongst yourselves for a moment. Oh, Turgundy, are you there? Turgundy. Train. No. She passed out. Train. Train. No. Train, I have a gift for you! Oh, my thing was muted the entire time, sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Okay, well, okay, I gave you a half of a fish to eat, for one, because you need to keep up. Oh, your- well, uh, I kept making you sound like, har, har. <laughs> yeah. now, As in, just say that she ate it. Yeah, she takes out, like, this very ancient old-looking glass bottle, and she's like, this is 200 years old. I've brewed it myself. <laughs> it's made out of swamp barley and swamp ale. I swear swamp you were going to say swamp water. ass. No. Same. Well, she's going to tell you she did get the barley growing off of her body, but she's not going to tell you that. 
But anyways, yes, she brewed this. She might not survive. I'm still country. I don't know why. <laughs> but you want some of this. Because you're in Idaho? Yes. Y- yes. Okay, I pour her. I, I pour of her. course. And of course the alcohol is, like, is going to like more alcohol. I hope it don't kill you. Uh, Kai comes over and sniffs it, and then like makes that face like what a cat does when it sees something really disgusting. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is oh, wait, my- okay, hold up. I'm imagining that Kai just made that face of that cat that's sitting next to a banana, but they don't like the banana. <laughs> that, that, face. that face. That face. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that face. I will find it. I was gonna say, my character is idly rolling around the marbles when two of the marbles in his hands. Sadly, as they are not the size that David Boo. Why was I moved? What? Somebody moved me off. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandma temporarily had like lemon grab voice. <laughs> Yes, her voice, she just did a minute, so her voice is resetting. <laughs> she'll talk oh, this is way too funny, and I hate it. <laughs> but this is the face that Kai is making. Yes, 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 gotta yes, be. yes, Here, yes. Here it is, here it is, right here. <laughs> God, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the face Kai is making at the alcohol. Yeah, like, because I have a cat. <laughs> I'd be afraid to see what Kai would be if she drank. <laughs> um, I'm assuming drank. you guys are in the tavern now. Yay! Yes, you did, Jane. Sit up, drank. Sit down, drank. Sit down, drank. Pass out, drank. <laughs> I like this okay. one. Um, as you enter the tavern, there are a handful of people down here already. Um, the two that stand out the most appear to be a noble woman um who's sitting alone in the corner of the room and the barkeep himself um you've heard his name already before it's garen uh i'm gonna change it to ganon just because i can't remember that all right um it's ganon among all the people you really don't see any other kind of alternate races you just see mostly humans and halflings well i feel really out of place ganon is the one person who is an orc (laughs) <laughs> Wait, is there an orc? Actually, fuck it. Let's make Ganon a uh, half orc. <laughs> Just yeah. make him Ganondorf. <laughs> He's Ganon orc. <laughs> this is Ganon orc. Clearly not a copyrighted character. <laughs> Speaking God, of orcs, I'm drawing voice. one of my old orc characters. Nice. Uh. Well, this is Ganon orc, so it's different. <laughs> Seeing all this, seeing all these villagers together and being, you know, kind of connected, makes me really sad and miss my own village. So I'm kind of melancholy Aww. right now. Um, Kai is trying to get behind the bar. <laughs> just like Grandma's walk right walk. over it. What are you going for, Kai? Uh, she doesn't know, but she's gonna find it. Um, the uh, Ganon, the half orc, uh, kind of holds his hands up real quick as you start to force your way over the bar and he goes, hey, right, hey, hold on. Hold on. Uh, go ahead and have a seat. I'll fix you something to drink. I'm standing on the bar. Can you make me a drink? Sure, sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, I imagining her originally, like, at the beginning, like, at the beginning front of the tavern. It's a little she teleports. <laughs> she all just right. appears. Alright, alright. All of you come all over right. here, take a seat. I'll fix you up, right? Oh, you're Irish. Nice. Love it. What are you all having? <sighs> I'll have some water. Do you have any mead? Mead? What kind of tavern do you think I'm running? (laughs) Of course I've got mead! (laughs) He fixes you both up. Uh, He looks at you, Kai, and he kind of eyes you for a minute before he sort of turns around and goes in the back and disappears for about a minute or two and then he comes back with just a big slab of meat (laughs) on a tray uh, and sort of just thrusts that your way. Um, but he kind of, he won't let you have it yet. Uh, he sort of gestures for you to sit at the bar first, and then he'll let you have it. Can like, have it, it takes her a minute. She's like, you know, doesn't understand what the hell the gesture is. And then, like, just out of frustration, like a dog when it wants a treat, she sits her ass down. <laughs> With an audible thump. Yes, it's a very hard thump. 
<laughs> like, you can actually feel like, the floorboard shake a little bit. <laughs> uh, and when she does that, he gently pushes the plate towards her approvingly. And I would like something apple flavored if you have that. Apple flavored? Like an apple teeny. That's <laughs> an apple teeny. One of the teenies. early drinks. I want an apple teeny. Grandma's gonna go snap. <laughs> What's going what on? What a damn girly drink. She's not. She asked for your house special. Your, your, your something that's not around everywhere. Because she wants to try new things. He takes a moment and he he eyes you up just like he did with Kai. I'm standing says, there. Yeah, <laughs> you're actually you're above his eye level right now. Um, and I he smirks. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of smirks a little bit and he goes, "I think I got a oh, thing." And he turns away. <laughs> and he goes over to the sink, uh, pulls out a glass from it, and then you can see the water is just like a putrid oh black God. brown with some yes! soap bubbles in it. And he pulls out a glass, and it's got like a, a film on it of something sort of greenish. It's got some flecks in it. And he scoops <laughs> up that water, and he brings it right on over to you, and he drops it down on the on the bar at your feet, and he goes, on the house. I'm so excited, my eyes are like pulsating and bulging, like bulging, pulsating. Like, oh my god, Grandma. I think I'll just have apple juice. And I'm gonna drink this, and can I go over here and kind of stand near that meat and kind of look at you while I drink it? <laughs> I, I mean, you could stare at it, but I wouldn't try taking that offer. Uh, Candy, he, he fixes you. Pretty t good tasting drink. Uh, you're, you're getting a sense that this guy knows his shit. Um, it's like he ran the tavern. Not like my character knows anything about alcohol. <laughs> no, he he fixes you a straight up glass of apple juice, but he makes it all fancy. Like he he. Uh, There's a tiny the straw in it. There's a tiny straw with an umbrella and like a slice yeah. of apple on the side. No, it's, it's, it's like a curly a, I mean, straw. it's mixology. Can, I, can, can Grandma? That's <laughs> clearly a mixologist. Can I try to take his umbrella? Don't don't. No umbrella. I'm gonna take your umbrella. Don't roll take sleight. his umbrella. No, roll sleight of hand. My okay. character sticks the umbrella in his hat. You and stick it in four, your hat eight. and? Wait, four, five, six, seven, seven. And You're Sabuji makes a swipe at it, but she just can't seem to reach. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow the dumb smile I've been having on the entire time looks slightly smug. <laughs> okay, well, I gesture, I make, like, this clapping, like, with my hand, like, uh, 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 at the bartender, like, w where, where is mine? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, he uh, looks down at the floor, and he finds one that's kind of, like, fallen out of the rest of them, and he hesitates for a moment before picking it up and dropping it in your sludge water. Well, I pick it out of my water, and I put it behind one of my antlers, so it looks like I'm flower. <laughs> also, if you want to know, my character has I have actually put in the list of equipment little paper umbrella. Right now, so it belongs in, that belongs in the treasures. Can someone please put a tiny hat on Kai at some point? <laughs> well, the thing is... <laughs> no. Alright, umbrella is now in the treasures. Well, now they're all settled in. Ganon sort of rubs his hands together and he looks over your motley crew and he goes, alright. I gotta know the story behind you all. Uh, it's far too long to explain. Can we just hear I'm about sure. the monster? Sure. sure. I'd be happy to hear it. Wow. <laughs> oh my, oh my god, that one's my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> That's Grandma's thing. Uh, <laughs> no, I was on my drawing. <laughs> we were gonna have a plot, but then that happened. <laughs> I'm laughing at his joke. <laughs> so you're you're all a group of adventurers here. Yeah. Uh, obviously, by the looks of you. What are you after? Uh, different I mean, things. We got a but... lot to got a lot to offer here. Uh, we might not be a big town for luxury or treasures, but I know some things floating around. There's been some rumors. Well, what kind of rumors you've been hearing? That depends. Y'all, are you all staying the night here? <laughs> Uh, if you let my friend here play, then, sure. yeah, I guess so. He wants money! I'm trying to haggle with free money, Grandma, shut up! Okay. Well, my character obviously is going to, I don't know how to exactly do this, but since my character has the entertainer thing, I guess he can, it's a pop, by popular demand, where he can just somehow make himself, uh, 
Say, yes, I will perform for you if you get like me sleep here. Yep. Oh um, so why? <laughs> uh, he's actually gonna bargain with you though. Um, okay, bargain with me, buddy. If you're gonna stay here. I'll let you all stay. Uh, I want half of his earnings though. So, his. Oh, I'm the only his. He gestures to you, yeah. So go on. Get on up there. Let's hear your play. Let's hear what you got. Oh, jeez. You okay, I guess I'm very impressed. Yep, that'll be performance, and let's get oh, your theme Lord. song. <laughs> oh, oh yay, yeah, the theme song. Fucking <laughs> kind of like to see the new character. <laughs> I oh, God. I yes! 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 <laughs> Wait, let me roll for performance for instead for them to be What is your instrument again? Uh, my instrument's a lute, but I also have a pan flute. My character will probably, character sing, will probably sing and play the lute. And play the lute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have something. I, have something. I rolled. I rolled. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. Fifteen, so Fifteen, five, five equals twenty. All right, all right. Um, you go up there right. and you get quite a lot of attention from all the people here. Uh, you really put on a show. Lots of sparkles. Um, people haven't seen this people kind of seen this performance. This from... I'm sorry. This, I'm sorry, this, this, this echoes this really echoes bad. Really bad. I'm trying. Hold up. Oh my God! What was that? <laughs> Oh god, that was being so weird. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. Oh, I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. Oh, it is? Alright. Right. I, I gotta say. Alright. There you go. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh yeah! Nice. yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Um, yes. I'll go ahead and change her icon. Uh, we're close to probably calling it tonight, but I'll change it for next time. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, Kai, oh. or shit, not Kai, uh, Candy, yeah. you go up there, you perform, uh, you get a lot of attention. People aren't used to seeing this kind of, this kind of show from a drow, what they assume, um, and it's very entertaining to all of them, because this is not the sort of thing that they would ever expect a drow to do. Um, so yeah, you get a lot of people, they're throwing coins up at you, um, in fact, you even raise the attention of the lonely woman in the corner of the bar, and she flicks a coin off your way, and you end up with six gold, um, which may not seem like a lot, but for a tavern, that's that's actually a lot. Um, unfortunately, you're only keeping half of your earnings, because Ganon is taking a portion. So you acquire three gold. Yay! So, 18 gold now. I'm an idiot and didn't bring any of the gold over the ice suit of one last year. Whatever. Okay. I'll do some performance. Um, has anyone been taking notes? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's a solid no from everyone. So <laughs> can... you're the one that's. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm not used to taking <laughs> notes. We have to go talk to the mother and the the, the mother. Lost Hold on. I'm looking for paper. Paper. Can I dance? Okay, yeah, you two can dance. Is the lonely woman the one that lost her kids? Yes. Um, normally mm -hmm. I'd make you make a perception check for that, but we're probably gonna stop soon, because we, we end at, what, 11? Uh, See, I'm actually into it. Um, I could probably push 11.30 at the most, so another okay. half an hour. If you guys want to keep going, then we don't have to stop here. Uh, I can sure. keep going. I want to investigate the- I want to go talk to the, the woman. Okay. Can I do can I do magic tricks for the crowd in hope that I can get money <laughs> or food? <laughs> well, what exactly? What are your cantrips? Oh my god! I thought you were gonna dance. Oh my god! Yes. Oh, uh, I'm going to um. Sunless. Wait, wait. Has has Turgundy passed out yet? <laughs> so I can use toll the dead to spare the dying. <laughs> <laughs> I use sacred flame. And shoot a flame out the open, like I'm a dragon, and I make the roar. <laughs> I gotta go though. Oh, you gotta go. Okay. You um, passed out. We'll keep going just for filler stake, but nothing's gonna happen. Like I'm not gonna let anybody go off on 
the adventure. You've gained pretty much all of the information you need, but I want somebody to be taking notes on this. I'm taking notes. This is, yeah, this is kind of word heavy. Okay. So hopefully you guys can piece together the adventure next week. Okay, so okay. what was the um, place? The Sunless what? The Sunless Citadel. 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 Yeah, I probably should have asked the Tavern Keep if he saw, if he knew anything about the witch that came on by. It was where dragon, it's where dragon, like, cultist went. And it sunk because of one dude's fury. Am I getting any money for this trick? <laughs> um, actually, uh, what would I have you roll for that? And I used you performance. I used, you are assisting. I am an assistant. <laughs> All right, I will roll for performance. Damn. You're this is a really good. This is a really good trick. Oh God, it fell. <laughs> it said, no, no. Oh no, I. Oh, it's under there. It's under there. I gotta get under there. I'm. Oh God, my knees. Well, I have really bad knees. <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, I, um, four. <laughs> <laughs> but you feel so, sorry for me, right? <laughs> you really don't know what was in that sludge. But I'm drunk. Um, <laughs> so, you seem to think that there might have been a pretty high alcohol content in there somehow. Yes! <laughs> You're under the the uh, illusion that you performed this amazing trick where you did like some fire breathing and like some dragon yeah. wars and meanwhile <laughs> in the real world <laughs> grandma's like half hiding under a table playing with matches no yes. <laughs> yeah. does anybody take pity on me does anybody take pity on me and give me things no, nobody even notices. Unfortunately, they're all distracted by the performance of Candy. Um, I Kai. give you my dirty glass. <laughs> yeah. Kai, you wanted to go talk to the merchant woman. Um, I want to go talk to the lonely woman. Okay, how do you do that? Uh, well, obviously her food is gone. She ate all of that, and Char um, she is going to approach on fours because she's not as baked that way. And she goes over and she she plops her butt down next to the table. Uh, she's not making eye contact. She kind of like saddles up next to it and sits next to it because if she knows that she makes like quote unquote eye contact, it usually scares people. I go to the bathroom. By doing this, it shows more like, hey, I don't want to start anything. And uh, she can kind of like sense this woman. And okay. um, um, she definitely isn't like in the highest of moods. You can see she's watching the performance, um, and she's she's mildly entertained by it. But there's obviously something else on her mind. Uh, Kai uh, says to her, um, trying to think of how Kai would say it. Hey, friend. <laughs> she, she says uh, your kids lost I find oh. <laughs> hold on let me check one other thing before I respond just to make sure I'm not messing any information up um, she hears you say this and she sort of raises a brow and looks at you and kind of gauges you up. And she looks back at her drink and raises it to her lips calmly as though she's not really phased. And she goes, You in this party? <laughs> she uh, kind of chuffs and there's kind of like a bemused chuckle. Uh, and she replies, For now. Well, you wouldn't be the first. I've kind of given up hope at this point. What do you know about him? What do you know about what happened? <coughs> Should someone come over to help Kai talk? <laughs> 
Kai, Kai, as you can tell, she's not like, she's not educated, so her vocabulary <laughs> is limited. So, but she does the best that she can. She, you see a tiny hand reach over the table, claws scrape, but then it's gone, and then you don't see it again. Um, uh, Sylvan, being probably the only sober one besides Candy, sees um Kai trying to talk to this lady. And he takes, you know, he just kind of shuffles over and, you know, sits on the other side of Kai, trying to look even less intimidating because you two giant dragon things. You guys are just, like, awkwardly joining this human at her table. Like, not really making eye contact or anything, like a drug deal. (laughs) Uh, You know when a dog comes over and sits beside you and it's kind of, like, watching out for you? uh That's what she's (laughs) trying to do? So, I kind of... I kind of look at Kai, and then I look at the lady, and I'm like, so I'm going to guess you're the mother of the missing um, siblings, huh? I heard they went missing after they went to the Sunless Citadel. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Uh, and you guys are going down there next, huh? Uh, yeah, we're going at least try to figure out what's going on. I, Kai just talks right over top of him, he's like, I find, bring closure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she smiles. Um, she, she's taking a liking to you, Kai. Sorry um, for having disappeared for so long, I assume that the entire time my character she's performing. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're, you're fucking wailing on that loot, man. <laughs> um, sorry, I forgot what she was gonna say here. Um, she kind of leans back. Um, she's really sort of mellow. Um, not really in the sense of, like, comfortable, but, like, Nothing can really phase her at this point. Um, and she looks you over again, Kai. She says, I don't know what your reason for this is. Maybe you've got some family missing as well and you'd like to lose somebody. But, you know, if you if you really believe that you can go down there and you can find my kids, then, I mean, I'll give you guys a reward for it. Ma'am, I'm I'm one don't... of the head merchants here, and no, no, something like this. <laughs> Believe me, I've watched a lot of people come and go down there. Uh, if you can even make it back here with them, uh, alive or dead, I mean, I'll give you 125 gold each. Uh, if you bring them back and they're okay, I'll double it. But I'll be completely honest; I don't have a lot of faith in you making it down there long. Kai um, bangs on her chest with a mighty fist, and in like the most determined voice, I find bring closure. <laughs> like uh, there is no arguing with her at all. <laughs> she smiles again. Uh, you've really kind of enlightened her a little bit here. Not enlightened. Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? You've made her a little happier. Um, and she decides to give you a little more information about her kids. Uh, they were two humans just like her. Um, the son was named Talgan, uh, and the daughter was named Sharwin. Talgan, uh, was trained as a fighter, um, and he was actually one of the best that Oakhurst had in their, uh, defenses. Sharwin was a young wizard, um, and she was still in training. She wasn't all great yet. But they went off to explore the sunless sunless citadel to try and solve the mystery of where this fruit was coming from. Um, they were actually joined by the paladin from the next town over um, that you had the mayor had told you about. Um, what the fuck was his name? Baldwin. Baldwin. I think. Shiny pants. Let me double check on his name just to be sure. Uh, Sir Bradford. Um, All one Bradford. No, I'm close enough. <laughs> yep, they, they were joined by Sir Bradford and um, a ranger who also came with Sir Bradford. Uh, his name was Carcass. That's an interesting name. <laughs> I'm sorry, Car- Carcass. <laughs> oh, I like Carcass better. Yeah. Okay, his name was Carcass. Um, 
And as this group, they all ventured down into the Citadel themselves, and this happened all about a month ago. And no one has heard anything since. Um, she also tells you a little bit of history that she has uncovered while searching for her children. Um, there was a, a druid long, long time ago, several years ago, um, who had a bit of a bad reputation. Um, and she says that he was last seen venturing down into the Sunless Citadel as well, and he never returned. Um, his name was Bellic. That seems to be all she knows. Um, all okay, she's talking about now, for at least... Hmm. Ever so slightly random, but I uh, pulled out my spell cards and like I pulled out what I thought was six. Instead, I pulled out like ten. <laughs> They're all just stuck <laughs> to each other. I seriously need to get some spell cards. I just got those because Dad got them for me, and I'm just like, ooh, these look nice. I don't know what the spell cards are. It's um, all your spells that they have online are in the book, but it's like all the information on a little card. So all you need oh. is like a Pokemon card binder to put your spells together as a book. Oh, okay, cool. I have one of those. <laughs> um, does she, um, I ask her more about, if she knows anything more about the goblins or the goblin fruit. Um, anything specific about them or just in general? Oh, like, um, are they on good terms with the goblins or has something changed to make that relationship Naturally? strained? Naturally? Uh, no. If we encounter them, we... We don't get along. Uh, they have a specific group of goblins who come here and offer the fruit that they've been selling. Um, I couldn't tell you names. We, It's sad, but we don't really bother to remember their goblins, which I guess is offensive to a group like you, but let's face it, we're humans. We're not perfect. <laughs> Kai kind of, like, scoffs at... But it's kind of more of in in agreement, she goes tastes bad. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I was gonna say, goblins are just goblins are shit. <laughs> we're not offended like if you call the goblins shit. <laughs> if it well, wasn't those I, goblins, my kids never would have gone down there in the first. Um, I was gonna say, my is there a common place that they um that the goblins gather? Do we know where they live? I've been told that they've been seen around the ravine right before. The alleged Sunless Citadel is where it sunk, or where legend says it sunk. They do tend to gather around out there. Uh, we actually can't bring our, or our our livestock around the ravine anymore. Just kind of over the place. Something seems to be drawing them either out of the ravine or more aggressive in some way. Uh, I couldn't tell you why. No one's really been down there and back to tell. Hmm. Oh. Thank you, ma'am, for all your help. If you think of anything else that might be useful, please let us know, and we'll bring you that closure. Thank you. I, I go back to my seat at the bar. Okay. Uh, and that's the good stopping point just about, if you guys want to stop it there. Um, I don't know if you can start devising a plan on where you want to go or what you want to do. Um, actually, that would be a good thing to do, is start thinking about like what the next step will be for next week, where you want to head off. So okay. maybe not when people are drunk. Characters are drunk. We'll probably head out the next day or something. Okay. I was gonna say, um, there's literally only like a, a couple people here, like three people be here, baby, who are actually like sensible, quote unquote. <laughs> I'm running. Quote unquote. Turbo. I'm running to the bar like like a fucking turbo granny. You know, you sent this picture here, and I was thinking, like, wow, that looks really fucking cool. What movie is this? And then I saw the neon drinks sign behind the tavern. I was like, oh, this is fucking Second Life or something like that. No, it's Fallout. Those is are... it Fallout? Yeah, those are the uh, Death Claws. They are fucking awesome. <laughs> Let me find some pictures of Death Claws. They, are, yeah. they look fantastic. I I'm love going them. to stop the recording now. Okay. Okay. <laughs>